Welcome to the case study connection admission control algorithms where we will explain how to load, run, modify and provide guidelines for develop algorithms for connection admission control tool. Before proceeding it's recommended read the user's guide or see the video about how to use this tool. To sum up this post analysis tool simulates the network operation where traffic demands are the source of connection requests. This permits testing the performances of built-in or user-defined CAC algorithms, connection admission control algorithms, that block the connections or allocate them, deciding their, their route. For each traffic source, the requested connections duration Reserve capacity and inter-arrival time can be user-defined following different patterns, also built-in or user-defined. Network performances, like connection blocking measures, are collected and reported to the user. So, we will explain how to develop CAC algorithms and connection event generators. So, first, open it to plan. After open it to plan, click on Tools and then open the Connection and Mission Control Simulation window. In this window, we click on Execution Controller tab and here we can load an event generator and an event processor. But before load algorithms, we need a topology with traffic demons. So we click on this button and select an NTP file included in NetoPlan. In this example we select this network design and click on open. The event generator is in charge of generating connection requests, arrival time, requested traffic volume, holding time, while the event processor decides whether or not is accepted and if commit all the requested traffic volume and can take some extra actions, release existing connection, vary to traffic volume, also it can react to, to connect and release events and can take other actions. So now uh, we are going to load both algorithms, so click on execution controller tab again and in this panel we can load the connection event generator and the CAC algorithm. So in connection event generator sub tab, click on load to select a jar file or class file. In this case we select this jar file included in netto plan. So click on open and after this we can select in this drop down list this connection event generator. So select and here we can see a description of this algorithm and the input parameters. These parameters has a name, a value and a description. A repeat operation with the CAC algorithm. Select the jar file by clicking the load button, click on open and in the drop down list select in this case the basic algorithm. And the next step will be run the simulation view the current network state, view the statistics in simulation, simulation report tab, etc. In this video now we will modify these two algorithms that we have loaded. So in order to create or modify algorithms in NetoPlan, a Java programming environment must be set up. Any Java integrated development environment can be used to create algorithms or reports and we choose Eclipse Suite in this example. Obviously Eclipse, Java Runtime and Java JDK version 7 or above must be previously, previously installed and configured in the system. So run Eclipse. After run Eclipse and select a working directory this window appears. We are going to create a new project. So click on file and then click on new Java project. Introduce a name for example CAC algorithm and click on finish. Well, to run properly the external libraries of NetoPlan must be included 
in the user's project. By right clicking the project and then select, select build path and configure build path. And here click on add, add external jars. Then in net to plan folder select inside lib folder all these libraries and click on open by clicking each library we can attach the source code and the java doc for each library well click on ok and now we are going to get the code of uh, the algorithms we can get it in two ways downloading it from Netoplan website visiting netoplan.com and in the website click on code repository and we can view here many examples and in CAC simulation section we can view the connection uh, event generator this and CAC algorithms or we can get the code copying it from the jar file included in the application folder we will apply the first option to load the code from net2plan.com so in CAC algorithm sections if we click on this basic algorithm we can view the code and by right clicking here and click on store and select the directory where we have stored the Eclipse project on source folder and click on store and repeat the operation with the event generator in connection request generator in my case this code and by right clicking click on store and select the Eclipse folder Eclipse folder and click on store and in Eclipse by right clicking the project I click on refresh it appears the codes in source folder and here we can view the net to plan libraries well in source folder in default packets we can view by double clicking the code it appears uh, two errors about the package because these uh, two codes are in another package and this Eclipse project they are in the default package so we delete this line in the two algorithms and we have the algorithms free of errors click on save and click on save and there is no errors now we are going to to explain and modify the CAC algorithm as we can see this algorithm implements the ICAC algorithm interface we can view its contained in the library API Java doc in the website in the plan.com if we go to documentation section and we click on library API Java doc we can view the ICAC algorithm interface We can view here the six methods in this interface, its descriptions and its input and output arguments. Well, the objective of this offering is given a connection request, find a path from the ingress node to the egress node looking for the shortest path in kilometers or hops depending on input parameters. First, it has an initialize method 
which sets the cost of the links as measured by kilometer or hops and this uh, lines and gets the link table associated with input net plan object then it has a process event method where if a connection request even uh, arrives gets the shortest path from the ingress node to the egress node of the connection if the offering find a route then it sets a new CAC event in these lines if a connection release arrives this uh, method doesn't make nothing and after this it has usual methods of displaying the description and the input parameters of the algorithm for the user interface here the get description method returns a uh, description for this authoring that it says that basic CAC authoring which tries to route its connection request in the shortest path and this definition is shown to the user in the to plan in get parameters method there is one parameter the shortest path type by default each value is hops and a description that this criteria to compute the shortest path valid values hops or kilometer and finally have a finish method which can be used to collect statistic associated with the CAC tool and a finish transitory method that performs some trans transitory finished action so the modification for this authoring will be given a connection even finds the shortest path considering now the link capacity that is given a, an ingress node and a egress node a vector of cost for the links a capacity links for the current network state and the traffic volume get the shortest path between these two nodes meet the capacity requirements for each link of the route we can view here the code after include the modification first we rename the class modify and the compilation well the the main modification is in process even method the change is simple before we used the get shortest path function but now we are going to get links capacity in this array for the connection at the state that is the current network state and in this case call the get capacitated shortest path functions uh, which takes into account the capacity requirement and that is the modification after this we will repeat the operation with the event generator as above this offering implements the iConnection event generator interface that we can view it contained in the library of Java doc in the website the algorithm has a get description method to show the description in this in this case it's a connection generator in which connection requests from traffic demons arrive according to a Poisson process and are independent of each other after this it has a get parameters method where there are three parameters default connection size that is default requested traffic volume per connection in Ireland default holding time parameter the default average connection duration in seconds for its connecting and the random seed that is the seed for the random generator after this it has an initialize method and this uh, method for its demand it generates a connection associated to an event with a size, connection duration and time until the next arrival following an exponential poison distribution in the loop for each demon we generate the holding time for uh, each demon the inter-arrival time for each demon following the exponential function the poison distribution and finally it calls this schedule new connection arrival 
function that is an auxiliary function to generate new events. After this it had a process event method where it checks if the incoming event is a request and if so generates a new connection event as before calling this auxiliary function. The auxiliary function calculates the next to time arrival and the next duration and finally return a new CAC event with uh, these variables and associated with a daemon ID. So changes in this algorithm will be create a generator where time to next arrival instead of follow a Poisson distribution follow a Gaussian, a Gaussian distribution and the holding time for its connection will be a deterministic value set by the user in the input default holding time parameter. This is the code with modification. First we rename the class in this case uh, Gaussian for example and recompilation. Well we introduce two new parameters, this line, truncation parameter and the coefficient variation that its description are in get parameters method. The coefficient of variation is the quotient between standard deviation and mean value and the truncation parameter is the maximum deviation from the mean value measured in units of the number of standard deviation away from the mean. Well, there are changes in initialize method. First, we check the new parameters in this line, like others, and in the loop, we set the connection duration with holding time holding time parameter. This default holding time parameter fix the connection duration in this line for its team. Here we calculate the standard deviation using the coefficient variation parameter and finally call these auxiliary functions as before and the rest of changes are in this uh, auxiliary function. Now this auxiliary function calculates the next to time arrival following a truncated Gaussian distribution so the generated value cannot exceed a certain margin from the mean set by truncation parameter in these lines and after that we generate the connection even using this next arrival time variable associated with a daemon id and fix the connection duration. Well now we back to net to plan to test our modifications. Again in Netto Plan, click on Execution Control tab and in Connection Event Generator tab, click on Load button and select in the Eclipse folder in the Beam folder because Netto Plan works with class file. In the Beam folder, select the Gaussian Connection Generator and click on Open. And the same with the CAC algorithm. Click on load button and introduce the basic algorithm and click on open. We can modify these uh, input parameters, sort as path type and write kilometer, for example. And in the connection event generator, we can modify these input, input parameters, the coefficient of variation, for example, 0.5 and after that we click on run to start the simulation and after a few seconds if we click on pass and continue button we can see that algorithm with uh, the modifications or without errors and we can analyze these results viewing the view current network state tab nodes, links and the simulation report by clicking update button and view statistic etc. But this is not the target for this video tutorial. More information about this tool can be found visiting netoplan.com.